Today I'm going to show you how to create an animation of a box opening to reveal something inside, where we can change the size of the box. So let's see it. Let's hit the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes. Let's hide this panel and this one. Let's create a new profile and I'm going to drag this because I want to use the cube node because later I want to change the size. So basically what I want is to make a selection of the top face and move it Rotate it in this axis. So later we have like this face open. So to do this, first of all, we need to do a selection of the top face. So we're going to use separate geometry because we want to isolate, separate this face. So here we need to select which element we want to work. We want to work with face. And now we need to do a selection. So to the selection, we are going to add equal and use the index to know which index is the face. So here we are going to add index. And now this node, this separate geometry, is selecting the face with the index number 0. And if I click here, I can see the rest of the face. The number 1, the number 2, 3, 4, 5. I want the top face, so it's the number 2. Perfect. We have the top face isolated. So now we can rotate it. However, I want to see the rest of the cube. So here we have the inverse selection. That means that we can show the rest of the selection. So if we connect this with John Geometry, now we will see the rest of the cube. You can check it here. This is the invert of the selection. Perfect. Now what we want is to open this face like this. So we need to add in this wire, rotate instance. And I'm going to add it in this wire, remember, in the selection. However, now we see this icon that is saying, hey mate, you know what? I work with instance and you are giving me a geometry. And I want an instance. If not, I'm not going to work. And you can check it if we click here, it's not working. So we have to say, okay, don't worry. I'm going to add something here so you will get an instance. So let's add geometry to instance. And if we add this here, now this is converting the geometry to instance. So this guy doesn't have any problem, as you can see. Look, I'm going to mute it. Here you can see it has a problem, and after this doesn't have any problem. So now it has an instance, and this is working. Perfect. And as you can see, I want to rotate it in this axis. We can rotate it in the three axes. But I only want to use X axis, however, we have a problem. Looks like the center of the rotation is in the middle, more or less in the middle of this cube. And we can know that because if we try to make a full cycle, you see that the center of rotation is here. So what we have to do is to say, look, I don't want it here. I want it here because I want to open this like that. So if we know this cube is one meter every face, so, so this is one meter, then if we want the center point here, we need to go up half of this. So in the axis, we need to go 0 0.5. And then in y axis, in this direction, we need to go minus 0 0.5 because it's negative y. Okay, so what we have to do is go here and remember in z 0 0.5. So now we have the rotation. Let's check it here. As you can see, perfect. And now I want to send it here. So remember in y minus 0 0.5. 0.5. So now it's there. And now we can make this animation. We can leave it in zero. And we can open this box with this face that we isolate and we are controlling the rotation from this point. So let's create this animation. Insert keyframe and let's go something like that. And let's open this. And insert another keyframe. 
and I'm going to cut this, and we have this animation. And now, after opening this box, we can reveal something coming from inside, right? However, I want to show you a little problem. What if later you want to change the size of this box? And you go here, and you change the X, and you say, OK, this is working. Let's change the Y. And suddenly, oops, this is not working. Let's check Z. Oops, this is going crazy. How we can solve this? So to solve this, we need to see this. Look. Remember, the cube is one meter in every axis. And we can see that this location, the center of this rotation, we can see that, for example, in Z is half of the original value. The original value is 1, so 0 0.5 is half of 1. And with Y is the same, but in negative. So we can do a little trick. So let's get these values with a vector. And now we want to control this with something in the middle. So what we have to do is to separate this. We are going to use combine. I know the name can confuse, but it's called combine because we always read from left to right. So this node is called combine because it's combining the three axes in one vector. But now I'm explaining in the other side. I want to separate the three axes. That's why I say separate. OK. Now what I want is to isolate this because I need three axes separate. So let's add separate three axes. And remember, we want this value here but half. So let's connect it. And if we want this value but half here, we need to add math. And to get half, we only select the byte and we divide it by two. So now we get always here, this point. And now we need to do the same with the y. Remember, we need the y in negative, but have to be the same. So basically, we are going to connect this here and duplicate this, but have to be negative. So let's divide it by minus 2. And now if we connect this, let's check it. It works perfectly. You can see here that now we have 0 0.5 and here minus 0 0.5. So now if you change the original size of this box, you can see that always is working. And the size of the face is the same that this space. So it doesn't matter which input I select in the box, that always the face and the rotation will be there. We can do like a pizza box if you want. We can do like a trunk, something like that. Or we can do a simple box. For example, of two meters every axis. So this is how you make an animation of a box where we can control the rotation of the top face. And thanks to this, we don't have any problem when we change the original values. And now if you want, we can show something coming from inside. So for example, let's add a Susan. So let's create mesh, monkey. Let's bring in here. I'm going to hide the original object and connect it here. I want to make it smaller because if not, it doesn't fit. So let's add transform and let's make it smaller, something like that. And I want to rotate it, for example, in 180 degrees. And let's add some colors. So let's add set material, one here and one here. And let's make a copy of this here. So Let's go to Material View, and I'm going to make the box, for example, I'm going to create a material for the box, for example, I don't know, 
for example, yellow. So let's select yellow. And let's create a material for Susan. For example, blue. Metallic blue. And let's select monkey. And now we have this animation. And actually, let's show this object. So what I'm going to do is after this opens, it will start going up. So we have here transform and we want to animate this axis. So I want the Z going up. Something like that, more or less. So let's create another keyframe. And we have this animation. And actually, let's make some rotations so it looks better. So I'm going to go at the beginning and let's go in rotation of this axis. So I'm going to, I'm going to add an expression frame. This means that every frame is going to rotate, but this goes really fast. So we need to divide this by something to slow down this velocity. Let's try dividing by 10. And we have this animation. I'm going to make this longer. So you can use this animation to open a box and show something inside for your videos or whatever you want to explain. I hope you learned something new and if you like this video and want to learn more, I recommend you to give a like, subscribe and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.